let's keep the train rolling here, and we are going to jump into the. I, I want to say the big upset of the night, the the big, you know, wham, whatever you want to call it. Kentucky gets the win in Lexington against Florida, twenty to thirteen. Uh, for the first time since 1986, they beat the Gators at home, and this was massive. I mean, it took everything that you could think of for Kentucky to be able to get this win. Of course, the 76-yard return of a blocked field goal at the end of the game. All right, so, so did you have this on, on one of your screens? Yeah. Okay. End of the game, of course, Kentucky has gone up 20-10 to 10 with, what, 11 minutes left? Ten minutes yeah, left, whatever they, it was. They were in, they were pretty in control after the interception. Right, right. So yeah. this they they give up a field goal with what seven six. Hold on, I, I somewhere around there. They give up a field goal and and they don't do anything on. <laughs> Casey jumps in and said, "Not an upset." Yes, it was an upset. It, they were nearly double digit dogs to start off the week. Anyway. They they give up that field goal, and then they don't do anything on offense, and they have to give the ball back to Florida. And Florida comes out and immediately throws, like, two passes to move the ball, like, 30 yards down the field. And I thought, man, what heartbreaking way are the Wildcats going to find to lose this game this time? Right? Because we have seen it so many times, and and they didn't let it happen. Like, yeah. absolutely didn't let it happen. If you look at the stats, Kentucky had 224 yards of total offense in this game. That's it. Florida had 382. So they outgained them by about 160 yards. This was, it, it wasn't turnovers. It wasn't whatever. It was a blocked field goal that basically changed the entire game. These two teams were dead even. Like, I, I was a little shocked at that because Florida, we expected one thing from, but we did not get it. And Kentucky has been turning the ball over, you know, hand over foot for three weeks now. And I think that Kentucky has got a real shot to to make some noise in the SEC. Like, this is another possible 10-11 win Kentucky team. They'll prob- now, again, the consistency thing is the issue. You can get beat by anybody, but you can also beat anybody. So I don't I don't I don't know that I believe the 10 11 win thing. And this is not a knock on Kentucky. I think the SEC is going to cannibalize itself. Outside of Georgia and Alabama, I think everybody else is going to finish with three or four losses. So Kentucky here's here's what Kentucky's got left. They got LSU at home this week. They got Georgia at Mississippi State, Tennessee at Vandy, New Mexico State at Louisville. Yes, they could lose three of those games. All, all of those but. SEC games, they could absolutely lose, and all of them they could win. I don't think they will lose all of them, and I'm telling you this. I would bet everything I got they won't win all of them either. I'm not talking about the Georgia Agreed. game. I'm talking about all the rest. All the rest. Like, yeah. like I, I just, I, I've just i just watched this conference for five weeks now, six if you count the, the week zero, and, and I'm just telling you that nobody is great outside of the two big boys that are going to meet in Atlanta. And and everybody else is just fighting like hell for wins. You feel like every game, if you don't win this game, you might not win another SEC game. They're all that important. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. This was another situation with a with a home team in a buzzsaw environment, right? So we've talked about Alabama already was as loud as I've ever heard it. Kentucky as loud and as packed as I've ever heard it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.